Hey, you guys, let me move this camera up. We're getting ready for a 10 o'clock. Okay. Well, what did I do here? Let me fix this. And we don't want it so close, do we? Ah, okay, how do I move it back up? Okay, I'll tell you what, let me move it here, and then let me move my, nope, that's going down, let me just move this up some, so that way we're not just right on it. Get it straight. Uh. Hi, Aretha. Hey, Aretha, were you able to post your um, Julie Nutting doll? Oh, you're at work. Okay, so I won't bother you. But I was wondering if you were able to um, do your Julie Nutting project for Emmy Lou. And if you were and you did it on your YouTube site, let me know. I mean, on your um, Instagram site, let me know so I could go check it. Yeah, yeah, well, this will be good. Hey, are you making this uh, hot air balloon? I think I'm going to ask everyone who's actually making it because when we finish, I would actually like to see you guys work. Yeah, I want to see what your... Um, Balloon turn out because we'll all be using different sizes and different shapes. So I want to see what everybody's look like because all of them will turn out different. Yeah, I have a mess here on my desk. Oh, it's awful. But <laughs> I'm going to get through this and then I'm going out to my she shed. <laughs> I don't know how much work I'll do in my craft room today, but I do have packages to mail out. So I'll probably work on those the rest of the week. I want to get every single package I need to get done, done um, and out of here so that when I get a little ahead of myself in my craft, uh, in my she shed, I can actually play and not have to worry about who I'm supposed to um, mail people stuff out to No. Time got away from me and I forgot to post it. Okay, that's fine. I bought the light bulb, but had a chance. Just haven't had a chance. Oh, okay, great, great. I I like to see you guys when you uh when you actually make it. Yeah, I want to see it because I know they're going to be so pretty and all of them. As I was making mine, I was like, wow, everyone is going to be different. I'd love to see everybody's. Yeah, but uh. Yeah, woo. I have overwhelmed myself with all this stuff I have going on. So I'm going to continue to play. I can see me down here. Let's see when I move around. Oops. Yeah, I can. But anyway, yeah, there I am. <laughs> I can see my sock. I don't know how that's happening because I thought I had my camera right on my table. But yeah, I think I could do a little better. All righty. Yeah, that's fine because I have so many projects that I have not completed. I would really love to go ahead and get those done. Hi, T Friday. Good morning. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Because I just want to make sure everybody could see it's hard doing this and it's a three dimensional piece. It's just kind of hard to um, do it. <laughs> yeah, get her done. But we're doing this today, you guys. I know I keep touching my camera too. So you guys, let be patient with me. I know I'm standing right here. Oh, y'all see all the junk on my floor back there. But it's really not junk. It's my stuff on me. <laughs> oh, y'all look all the junk. But I'm trying to frame this so you guys won't see all the yay good 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 so t friday has her ball ready yep 
Oh, I can't wait to see you guys because every single one of them, because we are decoupaging and we're not following a, you know, put this piece here and this piece there. Everyone's hot air balloon is going to look different and they're going to be so cute. Now, mind you, what you can do is find somebody that once you finish yours, that you want to swap with and ask them if they want to swap a balloon and then you'll really have something that's totally different from what you actually did that's the exciting part about it doing something like this and then swapping them out i would say i would do that but i have so much going on right now if i commit to doing something else and can't follow through it would really make me feel like you know what you're just spinning your wheels so i'm going to finish and then this because i have Four of these going at the same time. Let me show you guys. I have this one, which, yes. Um, I haven't, I like to put a little decoupage or something on there. Um, not decoupage. Uh, I think in some places you'll see where I just put white paint. It doesn't necessarily have to be white paint, you guys. It could be any color you want. But we discussed that part already. And I'm going to show you, we're going to move right on to the next, to the part two, attaching these strings, getting ready to, getting ready for your basket. And we're going to show you how you can embellish it. Yeah, especially starting from the top. Okay, so you found the round bulb at the uh, Dollar Tree. This No, it's, it can't be this one because I found this one at Michael's, but something like this one. I think I have an even bigger one ready to go. I have a total of four of these already um, to go. So I am actually, that's two of them. Don't ask me where the other two are. You guys, if you can see my room right now, it does not look anywhere near as bad as it did when I was cleaning it. But right now, it looks pretty bad. Okay, it's 10.04 right now. So I, I see Aretha and, and T Friday. Oh, okay. Yeah. You got your bulb done too, huh? Yeah, so I'm going to wait for a few more minutes for a couple of, you know, a uh, few other people to show up because I think there's a few people that's actually doing this hot air balloon, but um, they can easily go back and watch the video if they do not get to the live. And they could just follow along in the video. And I think... This is kind of what you guys are referring to when you say, uh, could you do a tutorial? You want me to show you how to do the entire process, which I could show you as far as what I do. You Once you see what I do, if it's easier for you to do it your way, I think so. I think, uh, yeah, if you're saying you think uh, a tutorial is perfect for this, yeah, I think so, because then you can see if if I'm understanding you right. Um, hey, Tanya, how are you? Yep. So as um, I put this together, I'm going to show you how I do it. And once you learn how a person do something, do it the way is comfortable for you. Yeah, you can. So I'm just showing you how I put this together. I'm not sure. Telling you if there is some uh, directions or some step by step that someone's doing. And I'm sure they have. But this is how I do it. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and <laughs> try to get as much of this out the way. Because after I finish this, the next time we come back. You'll be putting your basket on, and I'll show you how to, to decorate that. And then, yeah, your basket is pretty much done other than decorating it the way you want. Now, if you all have questions as I go along, I'll go back to the original and show you exactly what I'm doing with it. But now it is 10.06. Why don't I just go ahead and start? The reason I don't want to do it is because another one of the ladies were coming in. Um, I know... Tina was coming in, but I think she had to make a run. Hi, Gina. How are you? Yeah, finally, huh? <laughs> I know I just automatically do a lot, but this one is scheduled every Wednesday until we finish this project. 
we'll do a 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And when we finish this project, we'll just do another live based on what um, you all want to see or what tutorial you all want next. I think I have one ready for you guys, but I'll see when we get closer to that. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do today, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. So um, we're going to attach the top piece, this top piece right here. And for mine, I actually used a bottle cap. And let's see if I could find you guys a bottle cap. And I put a hole in the middle. So we're going to do that <laughs> as soon as I find this bottle cap. <laughs> um, they're flat. You can use any bottle cap you want. The ones that I, would, I was using is a flat one. But if you have a bottle cap or, you guys, it does not have to be a bottle cap. Matter of fact, being that I can't find the bottle cap, let's use this piece right here. And I'm going to use it for this one. You'll understand why your your piece eh, i guess you want some kind of flexibility there you're going to actually put stuff around this and this is going to hold your string uh whatever piece you use just remember it's going to hold your string hey terry how are you yeah so so far we're going to find something that we can use for the top of this to hold your string it could be I used a bottle cap for this one, as you can see. And as you can see, what I did was I cut four pieces of string and they were about two yards each for the four pieces. And you're gonna fold them in half. After you cut those pieces, let's do it here so I could actually get another one going. So I'm gonna take this twine and I'm going to pull off about a yard. I'm approximating it. I'm a oops. I'm gonna pull off uh, two yards here, and that's as you can see. One of your yards, if you put make it two yards, is going to make two of your handles. As you can see, it has a loop in right here, and you're just going to pull off two yards of this okay so i have the two yards right here and then i'm going to take two more yards of this and you could just take the piece that you cut previously and measure it i'm good terry how are you doing i tried to give you a call yesterday i think you missed me yeah Okay, so I have two pieces of string folded in half, as you can see. This is one end of it, and this is the other end. And you'll see it makes four pieces, right? Well, if you want them thicker, just do two more of the same one. I'm going to use, for th that's what I did for this. I made sure each one had two strings on it and I'll do that to this one too so I cut the first two strings and they're two yards each I folded them in half I'm gonna cut two more and they're gonna be two yards each and you could approximate it I'm gonna show you why I'm doing two yards okay because I want to have enough string to actually hang my basket from the end of it so I'll show you what I'm talking about. Once I get these pieces of string together, I call myself getting this ready yesterday. And that didn't really happen, did it? Because I would have all these strings cut already. So I'm measuring two more. And then based on just based on the size that I already have, I use the two yards and fold them because It'll allow me to still attach the uh, basket and I'll have enough room to maybe 
um, for excess so that I can wrap it around stuff and keep it sturdy. Okay, so right now, one, two, because my thread is thin, I have one, two, three, four pieces of this string right here. All right, and I'm going to fold it in half. Oh, okay. All right. I miss your call then. Yeah, I was probably, I, I know I went in the she shed a couple of times, but woo, when I tell you it was hot out there and now I have to hurry up and we have to go get the portable um, air conditioning to go in there. And uh, I, I keep hitting my, my, what you call them. So after I do that, I'm going to just make sure the ends are even take them all and fold them fold them together all right okay you guys so i'm just going to cut this off so that you know there is no end dangling can you all see me yeah so here's what i end up with this long piece of string and it has the hoops on the end okay you guys i'm going to hold this by this end right now because this is the piece that I'm going to, let's see, I said I'll use, hmm, I showed you the piece I was going to use. I said I would use this, and no worry if you don't want it that color. If you're using something like this, you could actually um, cut it in half. <laughs> yeah, you could <laughs> color it. I don't know why I said cut it in half, but you could actually color it. I am going to put a hole in the middle of this. Oops, I didn't in the middle, but <laughs> okay, I did not do that. I'm using it, okay? Well, maybe not. You want to make sure you get the middle of it. If I try to use, oh, it might be better to use that because more of the, more of the middle is out. Okay, so you can see I didn't cut that out very well, but I just need it to be enough so that I could pull this through. I'm going to take this right here, the, the thread that I folded in half, and I'm going to pull it through the bottom and just pull it up. This is <laughs> this is not going to work so well because those spikes, okay? When I get enough or I think I have enough to actually tie it, you're going to have to tie this, okay? You're going to have to tie this so that it doesn't go through, okay? So I'm just going to tie this into a knot right there. And I'll show you why I use four pieces of string instead of one. This right here is going to hang your piece, okay? And then you're going to put this right here. And you're going to adhere it to the top of your balloon, or whatever you want to call this, your hot air balloon. But what you're going to do is you're going to even out the parts. You want two of these going one way on each side, okay? And then you want two of them going the other way on the other side. So you have something that looks like this, right? Okay, I am going to adhere as much glue to this piece right here as I can without it flowing over. Can you all see? Let me put a, another glue stick in there. Okay, so I'm going to flood this almost with glue. Um, mostly on those. This helps hold it. That twine is going to help hold it on your piece. So I'm just going to take, and you want to put it in the middle kind of, okay? And just let it sit there until it seals on. Okay, right now you could use anything for the top as long as you can punch a hole in it and pull this through. I'm going to take a piece and put it there. I'm going to take the other piece and put it that way. I'm going to take two of these each and they're going to be like, you'll see this <laughs> a quarter all the way around. You guys see? Now, this right here is different than the way I made mine. So you're going to actually, when you finish this, you're going to decorate the top of this. I have to show you what 
we were using for an example. So you'll see exactly what happens. Um, when you put this there, this is what you end up with, okay? Now, I haven't put anything else on here as far as decorating it because I want to do something a little different than what I used to do. But you guys are going to get the regular instruction. And where is the one we're following? <clears throat> we're actually kind of following this right here, if you could see. And we're going to do it. We're going to decorate the top of yours like that. Kind of like that. So by the, before we even get to this, to the basket part, yeah, we'll finish all of the top part first. Or you could go back and decorate it like it is. What I want to see happen is I still want to use tool around this part uh, down here so that you still get that airy effect. That's what that was supposed to be. It's like an air effect. Um, for what I did. Yeah, for the way I put it together. Yep, so that netting, I'm going to actually attach it around here, but we haven't even gotten to that. Okay, so right now, oh, I know I clicked this. You guys are still there. Um, right now, I am going to take this right here. Now, if you want your balloon could actually, you can actually take the strings and you can take them all the way down. Like I said, I haven't done a light bulb before, so we're going to figure this out. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, T Friday. Um, yeah, you're just going to take these and I want you to decide how far down you want. I think I would do it halfway at first um down this far if i have this round bolt i will go all the way down here almost right to the bottom almost of this um <laughs> ball and on the other shape one i think i would actually i'll show you exactly what i did i went halfway to there you see and I attached it on the oval of this bulb right here. Are you guys with me? Yeah, you guys still with me? Yeah, I don't want to go too fast. I want to make sure I get all the steps. Okay, so after you put these on and you have it on now, if you don't want to, if you don't want to put two strings through here, you could actually use a thick enough string so that you could see it on here. What I'm going to do to this one, I cut a piece of flat uh, twine and I, actually, I am actually going to glue it around this right here. Okay. I'm going to glue it and I'll show you how I do it. I'm going to glue it at the on the twine initially so that if I make a mistake, I could easily pull it off and I don't have to pull off the entire piece. I could just pick it up off of the twine. The reason I'm putting this on here is so that I could actually put embellies. I could put chains on it if I want. And I won't have a hard time doing it. I could use this right here to attach it. And I'm going to finish. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. You could use any, you could use chain on it if you want. Put the chain where I'm putting this piece of flat twine. Um, let's see, do I have chain here? So I could, you could put the twine on and then attach the, the um, chain to it. Yeah, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to it like that. <laughs> As you can see, I glued this piece. It wasn't together. Okay, so now you can see that I actually glued each one of those pieces around. For you all that have this style ball, yes, that's how you can do it. And your strings are going to hang down. And then you decide where you want it to stop. If you want it here, 
I'm going to tell you what I would suggest. I would suggest, let me see if I could show you. Let me see if I have stuff here. Oh, yeah. You know what? I would suggest you guys um, use a bead or something, even a button. If you want it to, if you want these to show, you can actually use the teeny thread bobbins. The, I mean, these things right here, they're too, I think these are too big. I have some teeny, teeny smaller ones than this, but all you're going to do if they were the right size, and I'm sorry, I really am sorry for not having the supplies I needed, but I couldn't find them. Um, they're somewhere, and I bet you once I finish this video, I actually find them. Yeah, so we're going to... Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this through and you can, I'll show you, even though it's big, when I find the smaller ones, I'll put them on there. This, I'm not even having good luck pulling it through, as you can see. <laughs> um, let's see if I have a tool I can use. Oh, I know what I have. The biggest needle in the world. Let's use that. Well, this isn't even the largest one, is it? Okay, so I'm going to push this through since it won't go through on its own. This is just an example of what you can do to the side if you want it to maybe, um, if you want it to maybe hang out a little more. But I'm thinking this right here is a little big. for that. But what I wanted to do was show you how to use it. I will pull both strings through there, but it allows your string to stand, sit out a little more. I think you can see that. If you use a wooden piece or a bead or something like that, I want both of these. This doesn't look good like that. I want both of these to go through there. <laughs> I know you guys, y'all saying you're having a rough time with that thing. And I really am because usually I'm not in front of a camera trying to do this. I'm sitting there, I do it, and it's done. Yeah. Okay, so if you put both of them through there, I think it looks a lot better. <clears throat> and then you could actually tie the first piece if you're going to use this. Tie this string together so that it holds it. And then tie the one underneath it. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, so I think if you use smaller spools, though, make sure your stuff is, like, dimensional <clears throat> as you put it together. Hmm, that doesn't look so big, but it is. I could see it just looking at it. I could see um, that this is too large for this. So we'll take that off, but that's an idea. If you have a spool that's smaller than that, this one is pretty small. And it is, but it's not small enough for this size ball. It is the spare parts. Yeah, I think you get the paper, paper studio. This is Hobby Lobby. Yeah, so I have some that's smaller. So I think if you want to use those, you can go ahead and put them on. With this, I think what I'm, I'm going to do is just do one that is quite simpler than that and let's see what I can use to put it together um wow let's see what I have over here okay you guys let's use these little tidbits and we're going to finish this up since I started it okay I showed you where I took that's not really even but okay I took this piece and I put it on there. Now, if you want um, lace and such like that, now is the time to actually apply it. And you can apply it on your twine that you put on there, or you can um, apply it under it before you put this twine on there. Let's see what ribbon looks like on here. You don't necessarily have to use ribbon. I know I keep hitting my um I keep hitting my screen, you guys. And I don't know 
Yeah, I keep hitting my screen, so it keeps shaking. And it's in my way, but okay. Now, um, let's find a piece of ribbon. Any piece of ribbon. <laughs> and it could be any color. I could even use a piece that isn't a color. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, let me try this. If you want a piece of lace or something on here, I think I would attach it so that it's making a difference, but it's not the, you know, it's not covering the entire twine on there. So let's try that. And, okay, on the top here, I actually took, and we could do that on the side too. I took, before we start putting that stuff on, um, a piece of ribbon. Is twine ribbon? Yeah, it looks like this. And because it was just sitting there, I took this piece off and I used this. So if you're looking for twine or this stuff, burlap, yeah, just take your ribbon, your burlap ribbon, and you could use that. Well, what I did was I just cut a piece off and took the wires out and I just cut a piece. And this uh, attaches or detach. Yes, yeah, so very easily. Yeah, and then you could just take it and put it somewhere. I did put fabric on this balloon and it says together we have it all. Okay, so I'm going to start taking these little pieces and I'm going to glue it on different places. Just you could give your my my gun has been on for a while just to give your balloon a little definition. Yeah, so okay, is everybody else still here? Have I lost anyone? I see Terry. Terry, you're talkative this morning, huh? Uh, I know uh, Rita's at work, so I know she's in and out. But you could just start adding little elements to it. And you're still, you haven't touched your strings. Your strings are still in place. Oh, you couldn't get it in the center? Well, you 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 know what? That's, mine's probably not in the center either. I kind of, I kind of, um, yeah, I kind of just play with it. And you can see mine's not, if you look at it, mine is not exactly in the center. This one isn't, you know, and if you don't think it is um, exactly where you want, heat, heat it up with your gun and it'll heat your glue and just move it over to where, you know, just inch it over whatever side you need to move. That needs to move. I already see that. That needs to move. But you can move that later. All you have to do is take your gun, your heat uh, heat gun, and zap it. Move it over. You know, I'll do mine later because <laughs> I don't know. But I'm also going to go ahead and start adding pieces here to make a difference. Okay, you guys? Y'all ready for me to move to the next part. Okay, so we're going to take now some pieces and put now that we have this attached and let me do it for the for the round one first too because I know some of you are using the round ball. Okay, I did show you how you take this and we're going to go ahead and and attach this where I think it needs to go. We're going to attach this and I'm putting it about the end of the roundness on this right here. I can't tell you exactly where that goes. Uh, it's not very far from the end of this right here. Okay, so you guys are still listening. Okay, so I'm going to do that all the way around with the four strings that I put well, yeah, on there. Um, my phone is ringing and it's not in here, but that's okay. Okay, so... I'm going to do that in the four places. We could call this like a harness. Is that what they call it? You know, that holds the, um, that holds the, what's the name of that thing? <laughs> that holds the 
strings or the basket, the strings that hold the basket. Is it called a harness? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So I have it, as you can see, I put these on. You could go all the way down to that curved part if you want. And in this case right here, I would take a piece of any kind. I, I'm using this twine right here. And I think you guys, yeah, this was at Marshall's for $12.99. Um, they had loads of it. And I think I bought every kind of, and then people start sending it to me. So, yeah, um, this was a great buy. And they had this and they had it in a lot of different colors. I think around Christmas time, Marshall's. Well, we don't know what's going to be at the stores now, being that everything is so very different. Now, what I would do in the round and in, in the one this round is I would just take my bead and you could put it around it wherever you want. Now, it's not going to be totally straight, I guess, but you want it to at least appear to be in a circle. So for you all that's using the round one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you know what? That's been years. That was years ago. So I don't. And all, a lot of different people actually was able to get that. It was around Christmas time, Terry. And it was probably a few years ago, maybe a little longer. I don't know. Um, I've sat on stuff for a long time. You know, I use it. But after that, it's like you just keep using it. You don't always say where you get it from. So it's been a few years, I think, that those came out. And they had all different kinds of twines and stuff. Even had I got a thing of raw twine that is um oh okay, you say you remember yeah. Um, and then I had a few people send me these right here, and they're different colors and they're different types, and they're just yeah. So I'm gonna actually cut this and I am going to let's see, do this right here. So you can see exactly how I put this on. Now, if you want it to be a color, if you want it to be, I'm just being, I don't know, neutral about this time. If you want it, because you could color it using embellishments and stuff. So you're going to put that here. I use mine. I like putting it midway so that I can add stuff to the um, twine as I use it. If I have metal pieces that I want to put on here, if I'm going to put flags on it. I have something I could attach it to, you know, so it helps me a whole lot to uh, use the twine, the flat twine or the burlap, whatever you want to call it. And, um, yeah, put it on like that. So I do want to make sure it's like mm, halfway on there. So I'm going to attach it, like I told you, on the twine instead of trying to put it all the way around on the on on the actual decoupage part. Now you can go back and if you want it to stabilize, you can go back and actually put glue under there. I don't think you'll need it, um but yeah, <laughs> you can do that. Okay, so this is what I did for the round one and then I have another standard size bulb I'll probably use but this right that's what you do to that so far now I did say I would show you what it looks like if you added ooh, some kind of lace or something to it let's do that okay this lace is not stopping <laughs> all right so let's actually do that with this round one I like I think I like the this lace on the round one and I'm not going to put it on there so you can't see the burlap. I like the burlap. You could use a chain. Let me show you how you could do that. You can actually use a chain. And I'm going to show you what I did on. I'll show you what I did on my other one where I used the chain. Did I use the chain on this one? Nope. Okay, let me show you. The, I have a larger one that. Uh, no, I don't have it over here. Okay, if you use the chain, you might want to attach it to the burlap and 
I can actually use the chain on here to show you guys. You like the lace? Terry likes the lace. T Friday likes the chain. I'm going to do both. Okay. So I'll do the lace on here. And then let me see if I can find chain. If I find chain, I can show you how to do it with the chain. Where did I put the chain? All righty, you guys. Okay, I can't find chain. Is it in here? I think I see chain in there. Do I? I have a bunch of different pieces. I know my dad. Oh, here's another piece we could actually use. A piece of this. Yeah. Okay, so I don't see the chain, Aretha. But you can still use the hot glue gun to put your chain on. And I would do it like this. For the chain, I would actually put it on, scoop it. I need to find my chain, don't I? <laughs> Oh, you guys, I have a mess on my desk. And I lost the case to my pods. Now what? <laughs> I don't even know. I can't even charge them. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. Okay, so I'll have to actually, you all have to ask questions when it comes to, oh, you want to do steampunk? Yes, I would use chain. That says steampunk all day long to me. I want to do, you can do steampunk and... Um, I can decorate one steampunk like when we start decorating and then I could do the other one a little cutesy. So just in case somebody don't want steampunk, they want cutesy or whatever, they can do it that way. But this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the lace on since I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the lace and... As you can see, I just attached it there. Yeah. I'm going to just... How many of you um, are actually making a hot air balloon? I mean, not right now, but how many of you plan to make this? I hope you can follow. <laughs> if you do, I really hope... I'm trying to see if this is on the right side. I don't think so. I hate it when you can't tell what the right side of this ribbon is. And the highs are not what they used to be. Okay, let's see. I'm going to actually glue this on here like that. Like this. And we'll see how far we, we've gotten so far. Okay. I'm going to put this in a few more places because, as you guys could see, my lines are far apart in certain places, but not there. So if you want to make sure your lines there are even, make sure they are before you glue that on. As y'all can see, this is a little bit of space and these are kind of the same size, but no biggie. It's not a mistake is what you make it. Okay. So if you put it there, you're not going to see all those little imperfections by the time you finish decorating. Oh, you're doing it along with me too, Friday? <laughs> I know, Therese. <laughs> I know. I, I actually, I have four of these, you guys, that I already got started. I don't know where the other two are. <laughs> But you could make them as pretty, as dainty as you want them. And you can actually make them steampunky. Uh, you, could, you could do so much with these. And they're so cute. And then this size, I've made um, a couple of them before that is bigger than the other size. And I made several of these before. But I've never used, always use a glass ornament. I just get a large size ornament and I ended up making this part of it, which this comes in handy because now I don't have to worry about this part is going to be the part that um, has have. Oh, OK, good, Tanya. You go. I want to see all of y'all hot air balloons because every one of them are going to come out differently. OK, so as you can see, I put that 
lace around there. Now you're going, we're, we'll concentrate on decorating the top of this before we move any further. Okay. So once you put that on, then you're looking at how you're going to decorate it. You may want things hanging from each of these points. Like I said, I would prefer to take these and have the threads run through them. I'll probably do the other two like that, but I have to find the smaller little spools. Okay, now you are going to decorate the top of it. We're going to put flags and um, all of that there. Okay, we did the lace with this. I want to wait until I find the chain before I put it on there. So we could do this kind of steampunky and we can do this one just, you know, hey, <laughs> whatever it turns out to be, right? Because if I put this on there, it's pretty much basically the same as that. So I'll wait. Oops, excuse me, you guys. I'll wait until I actually find, um, you know, the chain. And once you put that, let's start with this right here since we have this right here on already. Okay, once you add this right here at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and attach this right at the base. I you once I need something to put on here first. Let's do so that I see where I'm working from. Let's keep working on this right here. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I want to make sure this just kind of come together. I'm using these itty bitty Cabochon backs, I guess. Yeah, because the Cabochon itself isn't in there. But you could get these and put the little jelly things in it. And I forget where I used to buy these from. But I have bunches of them and only a few in here. So I have to actually find out where the rest of them are. So I'm going to attach one of these on each one of these where the strings come down. I'm simply going to attach this right here. You know, I had mentioned before, I, I don't have time to do it right now, but once once I finish my um, she shed or get, not finish it, but at least get halfway with it. I'll probably show it to you guys, <laughs> some of it. But then I'm going to be working in it. Yeah, so right now I just added a few pieces here. And as you can see, that's how close that one is. It should have been kind of there. So you really do. I could move it, but I don't want to. I could actually know it's, it, it looks like it would tear the decoupage off. So I'll leave that there. But you guys, this because... I want this to end here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use the same flat burlap that I use to wrap it around. I'm going to actually use it to put at the bottom. But here's what I want you I, I want to tell you. You want to make sure this is where you want it. You know, if you want it leaning on the bulb do that. But if you don't use a ribbon, a bead, a wooden round piece or whatever, and if you put it there and run the string through it, it's going to allow you space so that these strings are not going to lay on the bulb. They're going to kind of hang out. So if you want them to be away from the bulb, put something there that you can actually hold the bulb on. Yeah. So Okay, now that I have those two pieces on, what I'm going to do, I know that's me, you guys, excuse me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of this twine and I'm going to cut up. Ah, I dropped avalanche. I dropped everything. Okay, I'm just going to cut a piece of this and so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to make sure <laughs> you guys can see this. And I'm going to start at one of the pieces that I already laid down. And I'm going to put this on there at the bottom. Okay. 
what I'll do to mine is hang pieces on there. And I'm going to attach this piece right here to the bottom. You're going to make this, like I said, your style, whatever you want. Aretha, I would, if you want steampunk, I would be using a lot of metal pieces on here. Um, I would use a lot of burlap. Uh, let's see what else makes it steampunk. Um, I would use, wow, you, you, yeah, your options are unlimited. You have a lot of options, uh, to make it steampunk. So I really want to see yours. I am just going to make this kind of, it probably will come out steampunky. As you can see, all those muted colors are browns and yeah. You probably could make this easily, make it steampunky just by putting a few elements on it. Um, I like words, so yeah. Okay, you guys, if you could see this right here, that's okay, but I want to keep Let's see. I think I made a boo-boo, you guys. Okay. I have to make sure all of the strings are in here. And if you hold on for a minute, I have to see who's on my phone. Hold on one second. That'll give you guys a break, too. All right, you guys. Any questions yet? Yeah, that was hubby. If when he can't, when he can't get me on my phone, he called a house number. All right, you guys. Are you still following along? Okay, so you're gonna make sure each one of these strings are under here, right? I didn't do that the first time, and I'm simply putting it. Let's do a little piece at a time. I get excited showing you guys what I'm doing because I don't do I don't do a step by step instruction kind of thing. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna put this down. Each one of them. Okay. You see, it's underneath this piece right here. It's under there. So at least you have a base and. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to I'm going to cut this off because I don't want it to look like you wrapped it around. I want it to look like you put each piece on individually. OK, so now that I have it like I want it, I'm going to and you could do this part any kind of way you want. You just want something on there to make it look like the base of your hot air balloon. So I'm just going to add a few drops of glue here. And I'm going to, we have seven more minutes. This is supposed to be an hour class. I'm going, but when we come back, we'll be at the next part. I'll continue to embellish and we actually are going to finish this by in three tutorials, yeah. So by the next one, we will be totally finished. And guess what? We'll have a hot air balloon that we actually made. Yeah. But I was saying before all of you came that you might want to, um, after you finish yours, or as, you know, once you show it, or you know someone else's, uh, doing this. Um, you could, if you guys are talking, I don't see you. Oh, thanks, Terry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Cause I'm trying to do this, right? So I'm going to put another piece on there. 
don't mind the space between it. You're decorating that part, okay? And you probably won't even see it, but don't mind the space. And then you take the last one and you put it on there. And that is going to be your base. I know that does not look so great right now, do it. But yeah, let me see. Okay, I did that. I glued it on a little loose. Let's put a little glue here because this is moving. And it burnt my finger. <laughs> okay, so we have that there. And the last piece I'm going to put on right at the bottom. And that's only because I want a base. Now, you could take the base of yours and you can... Paint that, the end of your, this right here, paint it. Paint it white. You don't want it to look that color. Or if you just want it to look the natural color, leave it like that. Make sure your strings are there because you're going to have to attach your basket. And guess what, ladies? You're making your basket. And it's simple. It's easy. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to... With this, I think it's going to be a little different because I have the balloons there. We are going to use, I mean, I have the strings there. We are going to use these strings to hang your basket, even though right now, look how the little those look off of there. <laughs> I think I should have probably taken, no, let it hang and put the, not wrap the, yeah, we're going to have to do that. I think I made a boo-boo, guys. I think we should actually not put the um we should not put this string on the inside or it's going to be too close. Not really, but when you put you when you put your balloon, I mean your whoo, what is it? When you put your basket on, you actually want this to look like it's holding the basket. Right now that looks close. So what I'm going to do is attach strings on the outside of this. After I put these together, and I'll actually show you how I did it. Okay, I made a mistake, and we're going to work from that. Okay, so I'm going to put this here, and if you, especially Aretha, she wants steampunk. If we tie strings off of here, or just attach strings off of this side right here, we can make a basket that fits it perfectly so yeah this could be right okay but I'll, if this is right i'll show you how to do the others so right now it is a few minutes before it's time for us to go make sure you just get your ends down you can actually decorate it too if you want you could start decorating the top of this or you can wait until we get back and put some more added stuff on but this is how far we've gotten so far does anyone have any questions up to this point okay so you know how to put the thread on you know how to yeah aretha how you doing because i know you're the only one that's doing it while i'm doing it okay everyone any questions if you all don't have questions for this instruction you learn how to put the string on to attach the little embellishments and um to attach this part right here i'm not liking this part so when we come back i may redo this part but so far yeah i can work from it from the way i showed you guys but eh i'm not liking that so much so i'm gonna play with it until i figure out exactly what i'm I'm going to do with it. If I leave it like it is, I'll show you how I actually made it work. This is my first time ever, ever using a light bulb, you guys. So, yeah, we're we're actually experimenting not with the air, hot air balloon, but with the light bulbs. I think a wreath and a couple of you have made them using light bulbs. Yeah, so this will be my first, but I can make it turn out right. So right now, this is all that we've done to it. And when I come back, hopefully everything that I'm doing will be at this stage. And I'll make sure I have one that's totally complete. 
And um, that means next week, Wednesday at 10, we'll do the part three. Okay. Okay, you guys. All right. So that's it. It's one hour. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys, I hope you guys make these. I would love to see them. I hope you guys come back next week, Wednesday, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all for coming, Terry and uh, Tanya. Thank you guys for moderating. And thank you all for uh, watching. Hey, T Friday. Uh, no, that's Aretha. Aretha, thank you for playing along. The rest of you too. Okay, I'm going to call this it and I will talk to you all later. Thank you, Aretha. Okay, you guys, until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.